Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca. Today, I'm just gonna give you a this or that. Phoebe just gave me a sigh. What's up? Is that, is that a dumb title? Okay. Oh, slow blinks to you. Hey, slow blinks to you, my friends. <laughs> Should we just do that? I'm going to have a shirt now. It'll say slow blinks. Um, hello, welcome to my channel, this video. Thank you so much for clicking on it and I hope you watch. Yeah, <laughs> stay. Okay, so, this isn't necessarily a dupes video because I'm going to have some products that might be in the same price category. And I always think of dupes as like, you know, if you, something is expensive and you want a more affordable alternative. So this is just sort of like items that are very similar and I tend to use one versus the other, but kind of both are good. Does that make sense? Okay. We are going to begin with primer. I'm going to do half my face with the preferences and the other half with the like Okay, products. <laughs> okay, so we used to love, we, I still love, but you know, I'm just kind of like, I move on. This uh, Too Faced Hangover Primer is fabulous, and it is a replenishing face primer. It does have coconut water, though. Not everyone likes coconut-derived products, but it's silicone-free, which I know is important to people. It actually is rated nicely on Beautypedia, and it is a great moisturizing primer. So, you know, I haven't, I haven't canceled it. I just found something I like more. In this corner, we have the Catrice Prime and Fine. This is the Aqua Fresh Hydro Primer Fresh Debt Moisturizing with Bamboo Water. So it's around $8 and you can order it online from the Catrice website. You can order it from the Ulta website and it's very similar. It's kind of a gel consistency. It's fragrance free and it has such a nice hydrating. Yeah, it's just, it feels really good on the skin. So if your face needs a drink before foundation, this is it. Foundation, so this is kind of funny. So I have a drugstore one here, Physician's Formula. This is the Liquid Silk Foundation, or sorry, Silk Foundation Elixir. This, I know some people don't like this, but there are some of us who really love this and find it a dupe to the Giorgio Armani Silk Foundation, and it does have silk in the name. So this is like any physician's formula, kind of problematic when it comes to shade range, but I do like this. It's got the dropper and it has just a very liquidy texture. Put a couple drops on the back of my hand. It's very, very liquidy but it has some nice coverage. It, um, it's just nice. I really like it. I think if you prime, I think maybe if you put it on just skin without primer, maybe people don't like it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but it's, and it's actually not a ton of coverage. And then my preference, kind of weird, I know, the AOA Studio, which this color seemed a little problematic, but on the back of my hand, it's the same. So if you, shop, if you saw my Shop Miss A haul, I picked this foundation up off the Shop Miss A website. It is about $1.50, kind of runny, kind of runny, just like the Physician's Formula. I forget what shade it is. I think this is like True Beige or something but it is such a good formula, fragrance free. It's called Buildable Satin Foundation. So the two kind of, you know, I mean, they're a bit from the same family. And it just applies so smooth. So I love this, it does, really nicely on my skin and yeah it's just a surprise winner so we know that becca is going out of business and that the um 
the anti-fatigue under eye primer is going to be gone. And then I love the e.l.f. blurring under eye primer and someone told me they're discontinuing that. Although it is, it's, it's sold out on the website. So I don't, I don't have confirmation. Ah! I have a backup to this. I love it. It is so good. But guess what, folks? I did find something that I don't think is going away. I think it's available. It's affordable and it's really good. And that is the J Cat Beauty Eye Assurance. This is anti-fatigue. This is their cooling under eye balm. And it is lovely. I don't find it cooling, not like, you know, Vicks Vapor Rub. It just, it feels really nice on my under eye area and it does a nice job of setting up for concealer. So I'm gonna use the e.l.f. on this side just for fun. And if e.l.f. is uh, not discontinued, then yay. Then, I mean, like right now, I'm liking all three of these. It's just that this one for sure is gonna be gone and it's more expensive. <laughs> Let's just go into eyeshadow. I'm gonna do my eyes before I do concealer and powder. So, Milani, love Milani shadows. I would say 90% of Milani shadows are absolute hits. There's always one or two, there's, you know, there's just like one or two that are kind of a dud. But, and especially this Gilded Nude palette is so good. It is so beautiful. It has shimmers, it has mattes, it has cool, it has warm. It's so good for drugstore. It's just a beautiful palette. It's still, depending on where you buy it, almost $20. Like, I think at Walmart it's like $14, but at Ulta it's $19. So, it just, it varies. But, JCat Beauty, again, which on their website, I think these are $6 and they are the Extreme Access Pocket Shadows. And look at this. So this is called Red Carpet Premiere. And again, just like a combination of metallics and shimmers and mattes, a lot of warms right here for sure. Uh, some neutral, like this one is a perfect neutral. And then this one is also a little bit on the warm side, but a selection really great for combination of, hello, come off my lid, mattes and shimmers, really pretty, pretty shades. So here you go for, you know, like $12, all these, so four and so nine, 18 shades. And then this one, still good, but a little more money and, uh, only 15 shades. <laughs> so let's do the Milani on this side and I shall just jump in with some, I'm gonna do my usual. I'm gonna do, this shade is called Me Time and it's kind of peachy and it matches my shirt. Oh, I swear you guys, my, I think if any, if does anybody use like, do like a signature color for this season? I don't know. It seems so you know, like, like, pick your signature color. Uh, but I, if it, if I had one, it'd be peach. I love peach. This color right here. You could call that a little more orange. Maybe we'll, we'll kind of, there we go. I've been talking about these palettes for quite some time. I think I included them in like an underrated um, product video and it's just it's just nice and then let's do for the crease shade I'm gonna go with hit snooze in Milani it's quite the like burgundy a pencil brush going in that same shade and just going along the lash line. So the Walk of Stardom palette, I'm gonna go in with this shade 
on this eye. And in Milani, I am going to put just my finger in this shade called Keep Scrolling. Making sure my finger is clean. Okay, so keep, choose, okay, <laughs> keep scrolling. Just on my, the round part of my lid. Oopsie. Somehow I got, see this is why I'm doing concealer after because I guess I make a mess. I'm using this one from here on the J-Cat Beauty Red Carpet Premiere. Oh yeah, same, same Z's. Even maybe better. And I smudged on that one too. Okay, cool. Let's blend and clean up. Cool. All right, now for concealer, I am a huge fan of Jouer, and this stick concealer, it is the, um, what is it? its official name? High Coverage Concealer Pen. This is only $22, and I say that because I feel like it just really is comparable to like the clay de Poe. you know if i was gonna do that one i would dupe it with this one because i find this to be so good and you can use it for all over your face you can use it as an eye concealer you can use it as blemish just you know around the nose so it is phenomenal and it's shade which one did i pick out creme cafe which honestly I have several of these in a variety of shades and they kind of all work, but it is a very creamy consistency for concealer um, and it does a nice job and it's a good touch up, so we like that. You could even, it's portable, it's got really nice ingredients, etc. So, you know, we are just a fan of it. Okay, so that is the Jouer. But if you want to try something that I kind of have been really, really enjoying, and I think you'll be surprised, it's the Alme Age Essential Concealer, and it's very similar in that it's solid. It is shade, is this light? This is light, oh my gosh. I don't know what shade this is, that's okay. We'll list it. <laughs> this is SPF 20 and it is so good. It is so soft and creamy, same situation, um, but with an added SPF benefit. And it does such a good job covering right in here blending. You can use it to touch up. I think this shade is actually a smidge darker. Um, but I really do like it. It's nice. Both of them wear beautifully. They don't crease. Um, you know, they're so great for especially a mature eye versus an immature eye. I just cracked myself up. So I have two powders and I would say, again, not like exact dupe, but for fans of the Charlotte Tilbury, have you tried Beauty Bakery's Flower? <laughs> so this is actually, a, be, even though it's called Flower, which makes me think dry and it's bake and it's intended for baking and it makes me think dry. I really like this powder. I find it to be very soft, uh, very non-drying, and the Charlotte Tilbury is beautiful, and of course people use it for baking and all that good stuff, but it's just not necessary. It really isn't necessary to buy. Okay, so we are gonna do Charlotte Tilbury on this side. This is the magic powder under eye and face, and you know what? It's, I mean, it is truly beautiful, but 
again, not necessary. <laughs> I think it has cornstarch. It has the ZMAs extract, ZMAs. So I know some people avoid it because of that. And here's the Beauty Bakery. I mean, it's just so good. It's so good. Both are beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, but you don't have to spend $45. This is fun, folks. This is fun. I have two bronzers. Both, I love them. I love ya. Okay, so we have on this side, we have Marc Jacobs. We have the fantastic Omega bronzer. I just love this. I love that it's so big. I just, I love it. <laughs> Every time I see myself in the monitor, I'm just always like, oh girl, you need so much bronzer. <laughs> When I'm in person, I feel like, wow, that's plenty. I don't need any more. And then, oh boy, on the monitor. Even for editing, I'm like, you know, you could have put on more blush, more bronzer, more blush. So, yeah. All right, isn't that just so pretty? It's like, uh, just wanna have a giant, bronze cheek. On the other side, I've already talked about this and I love it. The Revolution, Makeup Revolution, this bronzer, it's 01 Cool is this shade and it's the Mega Bronzer. And it's kind of matte, kind of just soft. And I really like it. Really like it. By the way, I bought that Marc Jacobs bronzer at TJ Maxx. So I think I only paid $14 for it and I feel like I'm kind of cheating. But that happens often where I check out some of the good stuff at Marshalls and TJ Maxx and you luck out, you know? I feel like if it's under 20 and it usually retails for 40 or more, get it. <laughs> so now you can see I'm very bronzed might need to be blended out a little. Let's get into highlighter. So I never talk about this highlighter, but it is very pretty. And this highlighter is just gorgeous. It's, it's gorgeous. So it's the shade Inspiration and it's kind of, is it baked? Is that considered baked? I mean, it's so pretty. Oh, golly. Yeah, it's kind of pink, it's shimmery. It's just beautiful. So I'm actually gonna use this $1.50 brush and this $40 highlight. So let's put this on. Oh, isn't she pretty? It's a little, I mean, it's, it's not subtle, you know? I mean, it's... It's there, it's there, but I do appreciate. Yeah, you know, I mean, if you wanna, if you've got a gift card, if it's the Sephora, the IB discount, go for it. You know, I mean, I, I have no problem with just plunging into makeup that costs a little more. So I think it's so pretty, it pops my cheekbone, but wait till you see this. And I think I found this through Mel Thompson because Teresa is dead, sent it to her. Ah, uh, that was so much fun. Okay, 
This Catrice Sungasm is, you guys know I have a thing for big palettes. Like this kind of pan, I love a big pan. <laughs> I like big pans and I cannot like, oh geez. So this is just, I just love this. I, I want something giant. And um, what is, mm, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Oh, oh, it's a little icier. It's not as quite as pink as the, as the Laura Mercier, but that's okay. It's called, Sunbeam, Sungasm. No, it, there's only just one. There's just one. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Woo. So it says face. It says face and body. So, you know. <sighs> mm. I find it to be even a little more um, ka-chow than the Laura Mercier, but both have quite an impact. These are not, we're not talking, you know, hourglass or anything like that. This is like, we want highlight. This isn't just, I want a subtle lip from within. No, this is, I want a subtle, not subtle glow from beyond. <laughs> Let's get into blush. Honestly, I have two very affordable versions, but one I prefer more. So on this side, I'm going to be using the Sephora collection. This was, I think, from Holiday, and it may not be available anymore, but that's okay. It's okay, you didn't, you didn't miss much. Um, <laughs> no, just kidding. No, it's nice. It was really nice, and it was really cheap. Um, and it's the Untamed. And Sephora products, um, their face products are just pretty great actually. So it's kind of fun where you don't have to spend a lot of money and you know, you're just getting, you're just getting a good, I just remember how much I liked it at Christmas time. So that is this shade right here. And then instead of, which because maybe that is no longer available because it was holiday, the Koki Little Blush Trio is so much fun. It comes in a variety of um, color stories and you get three blushes and I love it. And this one is called Blushing and it's <laughs> ching my shirt. So I'm gonna just go into the outer to kind of mix them. And I'm putting blush over my bronzer slash highlighter because I feel like I'm just kind of marrying everything. So brows, I love Doll Face Beauty, this brow. Um, this is the Sculptress, and it is $10 at Rite Aid. It's so good. And right now my, I tinted my brows with just like a light brown Ardell brow tint, um, and I didn't leave it on for very long, so it just kind of gave it a little bit of color. And this is the taupe in this shade, and I love it because it's kind of a waxy, sticky, angled pencil. And I love a brow product with a spoolie. I'm a sucker for a spoolie. And yeah, it's just really good. But get your LA girl, little brow buddy. What is this called? Brow bestie. And this shade is called Dark Blonde. And it's also kind of angled, kind of big and waxy very affordable. Yeah. So I'm, I'm into it. I reach for both, honestly, but I think that the, um, the doll face beauty is a little stronger. Mascara. Which one? Oh, so um, you guys, Alme has come out with this Length and Lift Mascara and Alme is such a good line. You know, it really doesn't get a lot of kudos because they just kind of have some products that are sort of forgettable. This mascara, it's Length and Lift. It was labeled as new on the package. It isn't, you know, I'm not gonna go 
phone home and be like, this is it, this is the best. Um, it doesn't necessarily replace like some of my high-end favorites, but I um, also, just to say, that when I first opened this tube, I did not like it. You, it does need a couple weeks to just kind of, you know, do its thing. I was so glad when I saw some other influencers talk about how they just open their mascara tubes, wait a week. It's just, there's something, you can, mascara right out of the package, mm, doesn't always, so I do like this. I do like this formula, but LA girl, guys, LA girl, I know. Are we tired of her yet? No, never. So for maybe $5, just a little bit less than the Alme, but this one, it's the LA girl Volumatic, and this is the full on volumizing lash lifting mascara. And it's got kind of a formidable brush, let me tell you, but it's so, it's drama. Yeah, it's just good. Actually, this one might be too fresh. Let's do lips. So the Sephora Collection lip liner are really, really good. I think they're $12. They have so many shades to pick from. Actually, they look like you sharpen them, but you twist them up. Trust me, I've tried sharpening this. It's plastic, it doesn't sharpen. Okay, and this shade is like wine something, rose wine, it's beautiful. I don't know, I think I still had a shade. What is that racket? I don't know. So Maybelline in Marvelous Mauve, is that what it's called? magnetic mob is just I mean like maybe a little more affordable and you know if you're not at Sephora you can find this anywhere and I love it and it's not necessarily like color for color the same but these Maybelline color stay liners CoverGirl, because they're cruelty free, I prefer to buy CoverGirl, but they don't have as many shades as the Maybelline. So, if they could do that, that would be great. I love me an Alme lipstick. Oh my gosh, this is go wild, and I love this. And this is actually cheaper. This is cheap. Hi. Okay, so see that? That's so pretty. But my new favorite, and this is a little more money. I know, that's, well, they're about the same actually. Flower Beauty in Peachy Nude. Oh, this shade, it's so good. Ah, uh, I totally broke my tube. Darn it. It's a little peachier. But the two of these are so phenomenal and I am so impressed with Flower Beauty, these cream lipsticks. This is so good. So yeah, almost the same price, just the Flower one is slightly creamier and more, a little more matte and then the um, Almay one is more, <laughs> Maybe just not as opaque. We are good. What do we think, folks? So I am so peachy. Let me know if you want me to keep doing this type of video. Not necessarily a dupes, just kind of a head to head. And always give me product recommendations in your comments. I love that. And I hope you subscribe. I hope you give this video a thumbs up and take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.